All right, welcome to the video. We're going to do Facebook deals straight up out of the box. We have a Tashna. Remember Tashna back 10 years ago? Shram Red Gen 1, $1,100 Australian. All the prices today will be in Australia. And if I do critique your advert, don't take it personally. It's nothing personal. I'm just, I'm not even looking at the names. I'm just going to look straight at the, the product and just give you my honest opinion. Someone's doing a burnout. Um, this is a great bike. This is a really good bike for a tall rider. It's got a 58 top tube, so six foot plus. It's got key winds on there. It's going to be a pretty light bike, probably low sevens. Gen 1 SRAM, 10 speed. There's lots of rival cranks. Uh, some old SRAM wheels there, not too bad. 27.2 post or 31.6. Yeah, so a nice bike. Again, carbon fork, carbon steerer, ring of death. You know, And also it's been slammed, so potentially X race bike, potentially, you know. So that's always a red flag for me when it's been slammed. But again, just drop the fork out and have an inspection before you buy it. Now, otherwise, 1100 bucks, sick bike. It's definitely worth 1100 bucks. Um, will it sell for 1100 bucks? Probably not. So this is over a week ago. This is over a week ago. This that, this this Tashner here, this SL9 Tashner, guarantee, I've ridden one of these before, guarantee you better than the SL7 SOX Tarmac, which I own currently. This bike's better, all right? So, yeah, oh, I should probably get a cut. Is it faded or what? Is it pink? I think it's just maybe a pink. Yeah, I think it's pink. That's cool. It's a cool looking bike. Good bike, man. This is a good bike. Shram Rival Crank. Um, but, yeah, I don't think it's made in Australia, though. But Peter Tashner was a 7 day Adventist bike guy. Um, some chicks down there. Let's just pause the video. Asian dating website. Let's just pause the video and I'll bring some bikes up. All right, here we go. This is an S. This is actually my advert. I've been trying to sell this bike. I, as soon as you, in my experience, as soon as you walk out of the store with a brand new SOX SL7, you're losing. This bike is in Australia around thirteen thousand dollars retail for what's on here. Hydro Dura Ace Group set, uh, Revale Sith. This bike's in mint condition. Like it's done probably less than hundred k's, or whatever. Just use it for videos, etc. Um, mint condition, genuine S Works SL7 supplied from Specialized Australia. So people, are like, oh, it's fake. It's not fake. Like. <laughs> There's no fake SL7s out there. This is from Specialized Australia. Don't believe me. Message them and say he's doing right his bike. Legit. So $6,000. $6,000. I'm selling this bike with a Dura-S group set. Virtually brand new. Like, you, you wouldn't, besides the dust and the snail trails and the cucumber seeds on it, you wouldn't be able to tell that this bike's been ridden. All right. 6000 bucks. Listed over a week ago. I listed it for twelve and then eleven and ten. Down down to six grand and I've had no serious offers. I had a few people like, oh mate, hey man, you know, they like put a case in the house that want to steal it. So at the warehouse, my bike's got a lot of bikes at the warehouse, but um just again, just this is the reality here. Like bikes devalue so quickly. This is a current model bike, six thousand bucks. Yet the frame is eight thousand seven hundred Australian dollars right now. Just goes to show how quickly bikes devalue. I find this very entertaining. Um this is a Merida Sculptura 907. Again, very nice bike. 2000 bucks. No way. Dreaming price. Great bike, though. DI2 10-speed Ultegra, which will work at 11-speed. This will work at 11-speed. It's E-tube compatible. Looks like some old zip tubulars on there, maybe. Is that tubulars? Yes, a tubular. So once you've got tubulars, it's like... Tubulars are great, but it's high maintenance. If you get a puncher, it's a pain in the bum. Great bike. Fantastic bike. This bike, better than SL7? 100%. Issues with this bike... Carbon fork could have a ring of death. You want to drop it out before you drop out any cash. Drop the fork before you flop the cash. This is a Cannondale R1000 Aero. This is from like 2000 and um, we got a here we got here we got someone's offering me a, someone's offering me a DCR this bike. Anyway, it's all, it's all good. We'll get to that later. This is a um, it looks like a 105 group set on there. It's not going to sell because people are like, oh, what's that? I mean, this is a cool bike. This is American made me uh, meal. Steel, metal, steel, metal, meal, steel. <laughs> this is a sick bike uh, for this era. Drop the fork out. I think that's an alloy steerer. I can't remember. I think it's an alloy steerer. Either way, you want to drop your fork out and re grease your headset. You don't want to ride with a notchy headset. It can damage your frame, damage your bearings. Okay. Uh, we got here. Um, we have a Cannondale Synapse, 600 bucks, so no cracks in the frame, again, drop the fork out, ring of death, drop it out before you flop it out, your wallet, I mean, you know, drop the fork before you flop the wallet, 600 bucks, great bike, I mean, this is a, this is a really good beginner's bike, you know, into cycling, and it's for 600 bucks, no one's grabbed it, 
size 6051 so it suits you about you know 162 to 170 centimeters or give or take is it a 50 it looks bigger than the 51 it looks bigger than the 51 if you ever want to know what size the bike is exactly measure the head tube from the top race to the bottom race and then google up the year model of the bike so cannondale synapse this looks like a 2011 model and then you've got that measurement and you go to geometry chart it will show you what size that frame is so you always know exactly what you're getting that's got durace on there durace 10 speed damn you know it's a mix of Ortega durace Ortega cranks Ortega shifters durace derailers an old mavic cosmic front wheel could be a copy one from wish 600 bucks fair price gonna be a great bike again drop out the fork drop it before you flop it um and now here we have a cannondale cad 8 us made cad 8 it's just 500 bucks photos aren't so good this is this is a killer bike man this is a killer bike again i think it's full carbon steel drop the fork out inspect and obviously bars and stuff like that but i mean bars are cheap you can get a pair of brand new fsa energy bars compact for 30 40 bucks stems you can get replacement seat post get replacement but a fork if the fork's done the frame could be done all right so you always want to drop the fork out and spec the fork is the weakest the achilles heel of most bikes these photos here don't do it justice this is a great bike um you know you should take a photo of the bike in the sun shine and you'll have better off but 500 bucks mate you know sick bike sick bike all right let's go pause it and find some more bikes okay we have here some Ultegra shifters these are the 6870 di2 they look in really good condition wow 200 bucks for di2 shifters assuming they work again with any electronics you have issues could have issues here but the guys kept the box if you keep the box and look at that you know some little like uh, generally like this is these look really clean and crisp they're most likely going to work um you want to test it before you buy it to make sure you're not getting dud stuff because you know always test electronics before you buy it <laughs> like you wouldn't buy a phone about turning it on first and checking the camera etc don't buy a di2 unless you get to test it first because they can have problems with it and then you're up the creek with no paddle but these like look like in mint condition you know when were these listed ages ago okay people want 12 speed people want disc brakes this rim stay this rim brake stuff is worth nothing bro nothing it's worth nothing even though it's the best out there it's better it's, it's lighter and better let's have a look what else we can find okay we're going to go open up some tabs here we're going to look at these s works we've got some uh x worse x worses this is uh, <laughs> it's works we're going to open up some of these bad boys here uh zarko max blah 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 blah, blah. colnago made in china which they all are creo we've got an e-bike for sale already s works venge for sale 54 canyon uh, pass actually no we'll give it a go we'll give it a go um that's disc brakes pass <laughs> no, we'll give it a go we've got to give the disc brakes a bit of love we can't discriminate here we've got to keep it fair and equal seat posts sl6 seat posts and broken frames etc 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 got an ls transition uh we've got an, it looks like a constable sl4 over here uh, we've got this cool looking epic on 15 grand dreaming with addicts it's got addict over here two and a half grand dreaming and uh all right let's start with that let's go to Rubay, uh s-works Rubay. and we've got some hot chick down here let's go over here straight up off the bat we've got s-works 2013 sl4 it looks like yes sl4 um you can tell by the little hourglass marilyn monroe head tube there He's trying to get 3-1. This is now it's down a 2-9 DI2 Ultegra. This is a sick bike. Sick bike, mate. Um, but again, that is this hang, this looks like it's been resprayed. This looks like it's been resprayed. This could be a uh, a crack and fail job potentially. It it just doesn't look like a stock colour. It could be a warranty colour, but it doesn't look stock to me. Um so either way, it's a very nice bike. It is genuine, I can tell by the angles there. It's a genuine S-Works. Uh, so it's not a genuine S-Works, it's a genuine specialized product. But, um, yeah. Again, you want to drop the fork out and have a look. What's this bike worth? Max. Max, 1500 bucks. Next one up, S-Works Tarmac. This is market value, what it will sell for. We've got here, look at this one. An SLR. Well, SLR1. It's an SL3 S-Works for 1700 bucks. Um, SL3, very nice bikes. Two spares wheels, 1750. Hasn't even sold. It looks like it's got Durace Group Set Voltego cranks on there. Again, check for Ring of Death. SL3, SL3, 
is a very very nice uh, frame set 1700 bucks listed almost half a year ago still haven't sold this is what i'm saying rim brakes are worth nothing even though they're better for road next up on the block we've got an s works sl6 SRAM axis which is slow as heck of shift the shifting is just like blah 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 um 9200 bucks i look at this bike and i'm just thinking man like this where's what's the deal what's doing the pizza cutters you know like it's, it's, it's such a nice looking bike but the silhouette of this i, I just i know how, exactly how this bike rides I've ridden Axis, I've ridden the disc brake tarmac, so I'm just like, ugh. It's like so, you know, it's like taking out a, a chick you thinks a porn star, and then she's like frigid as heck, and it's just like, man, come on, like, I, I was expecting something different, which is fine, but, you know, just, man, this is just what's going on here. So it's just, they're let down bikes. 9.2, someone, someone might pay that, but it's not the latest one, it's an SL6, and generally people are going to spend 10 grand on something, want the latest. I can't even sell my SL7 with Dura-Ace. For 6000 bucks, I don't think this guy's going to get 9.2. If he does, good on him. But man, should have bought mine for 6000 bucks and get the latest. Get the latest versus something that's three years old. S-Works and Mirror, SL4 and Mirror, um, 11 speed, mechanical, 2800 bucks. Um, this looks like... Is that a custom paint as well? Hmm. I don't think I've seen that color before. Who knows? 2.8... Um, fair price, I would say more like fifteen hundred bucks. But uh, nice bike though. This is a genuine one. Yep, it's genuine. It looks, it looks to be very conditioned. Female rider looks like just the colours and vibe. The Rovile Celex rims are very very nice. Very smooth rolling wheel set. But if I was going to part it out, the wheels, maybe you know I get those. I've got I've got a pair of those wheels the other day for like was one hundred twenty bucks or something. Had a little like hell on the front and the fairing. Um, back was a bit worn, so. Yeah, I mean, if the wheel's in good condition, maybe three, four hundred bucks because the rim brake group set, you know, five, seven hundred bucks. So you got a grand there frame, five, six hundred bucks. So around your fifteen to two grand mark value for this one here. But a very, very nice bike. BB30, OSBB, 50, 50, 34 compact on there. A great bike. Is it worth two eight? Yeah. If you went in the bike shop and got two eight today, you're going to get nothing really that good. But if, say, I'm going to say market value, more like fifteen ish. Um, but two eight, still going to be a sick bike. Uh, S Works Tarmac SL5. Uh, what about here? Oh, one photo. You know, 16 weeks ago, Dreaming Price SL5 with mechanical Durace. You know, it's just Dreaming Price. What's it going to go for? Frame, five, six hundred bucks. Okay, Ring of Death, Ring of Death, Ring of Death. Ass I'm assuming this fork isn't damaged here. Assuming the fork isn't damaged. If the fork's damaged, getting a spare fork in that color. Good luck, you know, good luck. Got the Karima, the Stana wheels on here. 4-4, four, four. what's it going to go for? Rim brake, rim brake, non, rim brake mechanical, you know, five-year-old frame, uh, six-year-old frame, you know, 1,500 or grand, roundabouts. Oh, you, I wouldn't self, oh, you, you, you're dreaming. No, you're dreaming thinking you get 4-4 four, four for your bike that's seven, six years old, no warranty, potentially got a ring of death on the fork. People, you know, oh, I'm not going to drive out the fork. Blah, 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 you buy it or not? It's like, nah, but dude, secondhand, secondhand carbon ain't worth much, you know, <laughs> especially secondhand carbon buyers. You don't, you don't know their history. They could be ready to fail at any given moment. All right, I've got a Creo here, 2020 comp. Nice paint, isn't it? Sort of reflective. And again, I'm not trying to be a douchebag. I'm not trying to be a douchebag. I'm just being, you know, pure business sense here. So nothing personal against anyone in these videos. I definitely do come across like an arrogant douchebag. I understand that. Um, Nice paint, it's like a 90s Air Max trainer sort of, that's fleck, it looks cool. It's an e-bike here, and these are nice photos, these are very good photos. Pathfinder tires, I'll rate those, DT Swiss wheels, yep, had a little bit of dingle dingle, a little scratchy scratchy, oh, the scratches are not good, like the scratches devalue your bike so much, that I don't care about it, like scratches happen, but generally people are very anal, oh it's got a scratch, it's, it's a bike, it's going to get scratched man. It's going to get scratched, all right? But generally, people are going to spend that much money on a bike. They don't like scratches. It's really like, oh, scratched. Um, so, yeah, this is uh, it's done 882Ks on it. It's not much at all. But, yeah, 7, 6. I mean, it's, yeah, who knows what it's going to go for, you know? I think, I don't know. I, don't, I didn't know what the retail on these things are, you know? I don't know what the retail on these things are. I've ridden one of these before. They go pretty good. They go pretty good. Not that, not that powerful, but they're, they're all right. Um, see, I, I don't know on this one. I'm going to pass on what the market value is. 
I'm going to pass on that. But I generally say people are going to buy one of these bikes for that much money. are going to go to a bike shop, you know. They're going to go to a bike shop because they just... People need to have certainty that there's no problems with it. And warranty and service gives people that certainty. Most people need certainty. Most people need significance in life. Significance, going to the bike shop and f- f- putting that card in the thing and getting that service and like, wow, you've spent you know, 10 grand or 20 grand on an S-Works bike. Wow, congratulations. Then you leave the store and it's like, sucker. Just kidding. Um, yes, no, I'm not. But it's like, you know, people want significance. They want like, oh, you've got a brand new S-Works bike and yes, yes, yes. And, you know, it's, it's, I mean, we like that. It's like everyone likes walking in the shop and, you know, buying something flingy, flangy, blingy, and getting that significance feeling and the certainty that if you do have an issue, you're going to get warranty. But again, 7.6, going to be a tough one, tough one, tough one, tough one. Uh, we have here S Works Venge 54 Mechanical Dura Ace. Oh, it's one of those old the Batman Venge Vice things. Dream and price. Oh, dream and price. Dream and price. I mean, it's. Yeah, the, these bikes sort of look cool but they're an absolute pain in the ass to work on they're absolute oh my god I was going to buy one of these back in 2016 for a YouTube video and then I looked at one in real life and I was thinking man I do not want to have to disassemble this every time I go on a plane and just flap around the brakes I'm just like hard part and I picked it up as well and it was so heavy I'm like oh man give me a tarmac what's this one to go for <laughs> this is going to go for like you know maybe 1500 bucks you know maybe Maybe, maybe, maybe. Canyon Ultimate, uh, current model, what's this group set? 105 group set, 4.7. Dreaming price, 4.7. Damn. 4.7. What you can get for 4.7, you get something pretty sick. You can get one of these bikes that is overpriced at 4.7 versus one of these things. This is going to be heavy and slow. Oh, man. Like, I look at this bike, and it's a Canyon Ultimate, and that is a sick bike with rim brakes. Like Canyon Ultimate with rim brakes, some sub 1400 gram alloy or carbon wheels, sick bike. Once you add discs to it and extra spokes, you lose the air efficiency of the super light wheels, and the, it just kills the vibe, man. It kills the vibe. It's like it kills the vibe massively. Uh, we have here at S Works Venge in excellent condition 52 SRAM Red 10 speed 2 2. Uh, it's got an SRM on it. Interesting. Does the SRM still work? We don't know. But again, if it's got an SRM on there, it's probably been pretty thrashed. This does look like it's be a genuine one. There are a few fake Vengers going around. There's Gen 1s here. But this one looks to be a genuine one. It's Envy bars and stem. Envy bars, they break really easy. They compress really easy. So they're, they're pretty much... I'd say Envy bars are junk. You know, they're, they're junk. Uh, but the price they charge is insane. This one looks in decent condition. We can't really tell, but the drills look pretty good. 2-2. Two, two. Unfortunately, this person's going to get maybe... Maybe a grand for it. And it's got an SRM, which were like, you know, 10 grand back in the day. 5 grand, 10 grand when they first came out. Even 20 grand back in the 80s. So it's like, the things just devalue quick. And no one cares about this bike anymore. I mean, not no one, but... Most people don't care. Oh, you got S-Works. Oh, but it's 10 years old. Oh, can't you afford a new one? It's not a real S-Works then. It's got rim brakes on it. And it's, not, it's got non-electric gears on there. Okay, we have here another Venge. <laughs> this is the Venge. Okay, we've got the Venge here. Um... <laughs> People think their Vengers are worth so much money. The Venge is probably one of the quickest devaluing bikes out there. This one's, again, ring of death, ring of death. I see so many spaces up here, and I know that stock plug, assuming it's got a stock plug in it, only goes down to about there. So the, the chance of this bike being about a 10-year-old frame, 8-year-old frame, I think it's a 2013 model, you know, it was 8 years old, Maybe heavy usage, maybe not, but the chance of that having a crack on the steerer, ready to pop, ready to flop, is high. Again, whenever you buy on these bikes, before you lay down any cash, before you, you say, look, you know, before you even barter, to say, well, let's have a look at the fork. Show me the money, show me the fork. Um, so here we have a 54 Van Shram Red 22. That's a great group set, really, really good group set. Uh, zip wheels, the rims are okay. Hubs are absolutely shocking most times. Look at that. I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking, oof, that fork, the chance of that fork not being damaged underneath, unlikely. I'd, I'd say it's, I'd strongly suspect, 
open to being wrong, but strongly suspect this fork is damaged, ready to fail. Ready to fail in the sprint, ready to fail when you hit a gutter or hit a pothole. This comes with two spare wheels, six, seven, dream, and it's in Gladstone, like, great place up in Glad, Glad, you know, for the viewers up there, but it's just in Gladstone, like, dreaming. This, what's this bike worth? 1500 bucks. 1500 bucks max, assuming the fork's okay. So if you get more than 1500 bucks, you are doing really well for a, an old bike that's not current and people don't really hype it up like it used to be. That's just how it is, man. Even this is, it's a nice bike. This is better than the SL7, uh, SRX Tarmac. I know. I've ridden both bikes. Much, much better. Um, all right, we've got a specialized SRX TT bike. Uh, 2000 bucks. This was like a big bike back in the day. This is like a 2010 model. Um, Craig McCormack, you know, Macca and the gang, Crowey, would ride this bike. Used in one half Ironman, as did, you know, like, again, these bikes just don't get ridden much at all. You know, it's 17 weeks ago. This was a bling bike back in the day. It's got some ceramic pulleys in there, maybe. And it's got the Gold Coast corrosion on there. The cable housing's about to pop. Change that before your next race. Um, BB OSBB uh, S Works crank, pretty lightweight. It's got the, those, remember those helmets. Damn, this is a, a flashback. Matching helmet for 97 bucks. Um, it's like the rats chewed on the Nord on the back. Be a while back in the day, this was the this was the Gold Coast whip for sure, and now people would be probably embarrassed to ride it because it's like, oh, it's just 10 years old. But it's, it's uh, this, I'd prefer to ride this if I was a TT rider than one of the new ones because the new ones got disc brakes and a lot heavier. So this would be a, a decent bike to go. Again, drop the fork out, check for ring of death because most triathletes, most triathletes are absolutely hopeless when it comes to maintaining the bike. Most triathletes are, heck, most people are hopeless. I was hopeless until I damaged stuff. I was like, this is expensive and pointless. I need to learn what I'm doing. So yeah, again, drop the fork out, check for ring of death. And the good thing about these uh, specialized TT bikes, this is a transition just before the shiv came out. These are easy to pull apart. Like drop the fork out, it's the same as any any old bike from that day. So they are easy to maintain. Very easy to maintain. This bike is going to be easy to maintain the current one. And it's going to be lighter and faster. All right, here we have here. Price drop once sold. Um, 1100 bucks. Damn. You know? Like, what's wrong with it? Is it cracked? Blah, 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 blah. Um, again, it just goes to show you. 1100 bucks for a Contador bike. Ultegra on the... 50, what size is it? 54. There's something about this bike's a bit different. Like, where's the... It's got some... Cr yeah, it's got normal wear and tear on it, but there's something, something off about this. The paint job looks a bit different. I know it's a special, but again, because it's got this junior gearing on there, people are like, oh, oh, it's got junior gearing on oh, I can't ride that. I might be, someone might, 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 might be calling me a, a pedal or something. Like, oh, ouch, here we go. So that's just going to really impact the... um. What caused that? Juniors. Juniors dropping chains on their, on their outside cog there. Um, 11 bucks, that's a fair price. But again, the fork, what's the fork like? Most juniors, they ride a loose headset all season. So the chance of being a death in this bike is strong. It is a, a SL4. But yeah, 1100 bucks, very fair price. This is a sick bike. Um, 1100 bucks, I think that's, that's a very, very fair price. Assuming the fork's okay, drop it before you flop it. Drop the fork before you flop the cash. And here we have here an S Works Epic. Oh, this is one of the junk epics. Beautiful color though. That's it. That's a sick color, man. I love that. That's really polarizing. I like it, man. That's sick. That is a great color. Pity on some of such a shitty frame. Like those epic. I've got one. I've got one sitting in my warehouse, man. It's almost brand new. The shocks still. I've had like three or four or five shocks. Lost count. Absolute junk. These bikes are absolute junk. This paint doesn't deser doesn't deserve to be on such a crappy bike. Um, what's the uh, how much do they want for it? Is it ten? What was asking fifteen? <laughs> it's, it's dreaming. I mean, the new ones are like eighteen or twenty or fucking sixty thousand bucks or something. Absolute dreaming prices. That seat looks really small. Not much, not much post hanging out, but uh, yeah, these bikes are absolute junk, man. Absolute junk. Junk, junk, junk. Interesting, it's got flat pedals on it, but that paint looks really cool. Wow, whoever painted that did a really good job. Very 90s, late 80s, like it's like an 1989. 
But yes, yeah, such a shame. Specialized Epic used to be such a good bike, and now it's absolute junk. Absolute junk. All right, here we have your Scott Addict. Um, read before inquiring. All right, so we've read all that. It's a great description. Um, two five <laughs> Mulaney, Queens, out there near Nambour. I used to live on Mulaney Road back in the eighties. Two five Mulaney, Queensland. Got some Reynolds on there. Some old twenty two thousand and nine Reynolds looks like. Ten speed Dura Acer, two thousand eight group set. Looks in good condition. Bit of a scratchy datchy there. Um, but again, yeah, it looks in looks in very good condition. So fifty three thirty nine. This is a nice bike, man. This is a sick bike. These addicts were sick. They were made by, not made by, they were made in China, but the design by, what's his name? Is it Dank? Peter Dank, is it? Dank, Drank. Very, very, uh, you know, good carbon expert in designing bikes. Created the addicts, created the, work for Scott for many years, created the new Athos, was working part of that project, correct me if I'm wrong. Also worked on the Super 6, got Cannondale going, so Dank, Dank, whatever you, however you say his name, definitely uh, a maestro, a genius, they call him, of carbon product in cycling. So, very nice bike, this one. I would buy this. Uh, I'd drop the fork out. I'd drop it before I flop it. That seat angle, though. Look at that seat angle. That is an absolute prostate pounder. All right? If you want to become a monk, if you want to become impotent, ride an Arione. But that angle, this is probably as, as bad as it gets for road cycling saddles. An Arione... With a, a four degree nasal t nasal tilt, I mean that's just like an absolute perineum pounder, a prostrate pressure. It's just like man, like this is this bike will make you question everything, you know. <laughs> man, this, this is seriously, this is like that seat is carcinogenic, man. It's probably like an it'll like your PSA like seven points, your prostate specific antigen is going to go up to like seven points nanograms to deciliter or whatever it is. But a great bike, man. This is a sick bike. And it's got the telescoping normal seats tube. Fantastic bike. Sick bike. Better than the current Attic Disc by far. I know because I've ridden them. I've ridden this bike back in 2008. I rode one in Thailand, 2009. Sick bike, man. I would buy this. How much should I buy it for? I'd buy it for 800 bucks. This is an absolute sick bike. Has it got the weight on there? Um, no, no way. Sick bike, though, man. Really, 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 really good bike. Um... Sick bike, but two and a half, absolutely dreaming, absolutely dreaming. And this bike was like a twelve grand bike back in the day, roundabouts, twelve thousand bucks, roundabouts. But again, it's twenty twenty one. If it ain't di two twelve speed, if it ain't disc brake, if it ain't twenty twenty one, if it ain't getting ridden by Julian Alaphilippe, it's not worth as much. And even if it is, it's still gonna be worth half it when you leave the shop, as we see my SL seven. So people are dreaming bikes devalue so so quickly. The bicycle buyer, the road cyclist, is very, very fickle. They want the latest, super cheap, no scratches, no marks, and they want warranty with the uncertainty and significance and everything. So they want everything, but they're not going to get, you know. So it's just, it, to, it's a definitely a buyer's market. You have huge leverage as a buyer because you're basically like, it's like a guy on an island full of women. You're the only guy. You know what I mean? You might just be clapped out and a little douchebag, but you're the only guy. So it's like, you know, the women don't have much choice, and vice versa. You could be the on an island full of women, and you're the only, uh, the only men, blah, blah, you know, vice versa, just flipping around, you know what I'm saying? So there's definitely a buyer's market, you know, some sick bikes out there, incredible bikes, but again, if you don't have mechanical skills, don't know what you're looking for, you're going to be forced to go to the bike shop and pay for whatever you're going to pay for something that's going to be heavy, expensive to maintain, and not it's not going to be as good as these lightweight, near new absolute race machines like this Scott Addict is looks incredible condition by the photos I mean it could be totally thrash but by the condition of the photos it looks incredible even the look at the pedals there hardly even rode it and do you know why this bike hadn't been ridden much that crazy seat angle crazy seat angle someone probably said hey hey Johnny your seat angle is really bad I'm uh I've had the bike fit it's okay mate it's okay the reason I don't ride is I just got a lot of pain but it's not about the bike fit I had a professional bike fit that's, that's probably what happened. This guy's like, I got a professional bike fit. The seat slipped up, and he doesn't even check to see if it's gone on. He's just, and someone's told him, like, mate, it's okay. The amount of people I've said, hey, dude, your seat's too high. Your seat's too low. Your seat's up like that. Do you want me to fix it for you? Mate, mate, it's okay, mate. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I was like, okay, man, I'm just trying to help. But again, some people, you, you know, you can 
lead a horse to water, but you can't make it think. That's the video for the day. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Give it a thumbs down. Apologies to anyone out there if I did do your advert and it got offended and I ripped you a new a-hole. Not trying to do that. Just trying to be fair and a bit of banter here. But that's the market value. Things devalue really, really quickly. It's definitely a buyer's market out there. And I know because I've been buying and selling road bikes off secondhand markets since 2003. All right? So I can speak, speak of the experience here. All right? I've lost count of how many bikes I've bought, flipped, ripped, and chopped, and copped, and raced, and crashed, and thrashed, and stashed, you know, but anyway, that's the deal here, bikes, oh man, what a, what a great uh, market to be in, what a great time to be a cyclist.